Now, I want you, Mr. Stagg, to deliver my cock to this address. Now, he's very valuable, so I don't want any messing about with him, so wrap him up tightly and take him as soon as you can to this address. Is that clear, Mr. Stagg? Very valuable, Mr. Stagg, so I don't want any excuses if anything happens to you. He is well insured, and I want him to get there as safely as you can. Now, I hope I've made myself clear. There'll be a, an extra little bit in it for you if you do it and deliver it correctly. OK, so wrap him up tightly. I've had my cock for a long time, and I don't want anything to happen to him. I'll see you later then, Mr. Stake. So take great care with him, won't you? Always remember, I don't want anything to happen to my cock. The cock's on its way, Mr. Dorcas. Should be with you very soon. Thank you. Bye. much of a job this time but uh, I'll take anything you know a delivery dr driver or anything private eye work can slip into it some some point I would take this cock now for the uh, guy that's the other way around to another address and uh, that shouldn't be too hard a job so here we go look Veronica uh, I'm just about to start a new job Pardon? I've got to take a cock. It's a China cock to... Well, I don't know. I've got an address to take the cock to. Yeah, I know my shoelaces are undone. How, how did you know? Because they're always undone. Look, Veronica, I've got the cock in a box. It's a China cock. It's all wrapped up and I've got to put it in the car and I've got to take it to another address. That's all. I shouldn't be away too long. Just give me a, a little... Say about an hour, maybe. Yeah. Okay. It's a China cock, Veronica. A cock? Yes. China cock, that's all I know. It's wrapped up in a box. It's quite safe. 